it's your girl Laura Lee. I will be live with you guys for the next two hours going over all things Chanel. I have a ton of bag options, classics, and more unique pieces. I have some shoes, I have some accessories, small leather goods, and I even have some ready to wear. So it's going to be a really good show. Let me get the Instagram up and running real quick and then we will dive into it. But in the meantime, say hi. Let me know who's here so far. Isabel, hello and happy Thursday, queen. All right, let me get this up and running. Um, there we go. Perfect. All right. So Instagram friends, hello. I'm now live on Instagram. However, I will not be able to see your comments or your presence over on IG. So do please head to our website, www.luxurypromise.com. That's where you're going to be able to chat, ask all the questions you need, hang out with the community, and also be able to shop the pieces. So head on over and come say hi. All right, guys, who is here? I hope we're doing good today, you guys. The weather is gloomy, my hair is frizzy, but we are pushing on through. However, I finally remembered to dress in layers today, so I won't overheat during my show today. Finally, my brain worked and had that idea, so I'm very proud of myself, if I say so myself. <laughs> but welcome in, you guys. I'm going to go over our opening spielio of Adelio, and then we are going to get straight into all things Chanel. So first and foremost, any of the items that are purchased during the show today will promptly be shipping out of New York City tomorrow morning. Shipping is super duper fast here. Um, we accept all major forms of payment, so credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, and PayPal are all good to go, but pro tip, Apple Pay is the quickest way to be able to check out. Hi, Renee. How are you? It's so good to see you. Happy Thursday. What's new? Nadia, how are you? I'm excited too. All right. And then last thing you guys will be shipping. Shipping will be 15 pounds if you guys are domestic customers. Since I'm here in the New York City. If you are in the USA or Canada, just North America as a whole, shipping will be cheaper from you when you shop with me. So it'll be 50 pounds for anyone outside of North America. Shipping will be 35 pounds. However, of course, we do cover your customs and your duties. If you do purchase during the live show, I'm here to help any questions along the way. Anything you guys need, let me know. Isabel is here to help us out as well. And I think I'm ready to just go for it. Tessa, how are you? Happy Thursday. I want to start with ready to wear. I pulled three pieces today and then we're going to go into everything else. But let's kick it off with ready to wear. It's been a minute since I've done any ready to wear. I prefer doing ready to wear when I have a buddy here. It just makes it easier. It's kind of a little tricky to do solo, but I'm going to make it work. So let's get into these pieces today. Let's start with a skirt and then I have two jackets to follow. So it's about this first item. This is such a good deal for such a classic piece. We're going to be taking a look at ASL 7467, ASL 7467. This is a vintage skirt from Chanel from 1997, kind of a golden era of Chanel, if you will. So 1997 spring summer CC button skirt in black. And this is a marked size 42, which I'm really happy that I have this size in. So mark size 42. Let me get the composition. This is a hundred percent wool, but it is a lighter knit of a wool. It's not a heavy skirt by any means. I think you could wear this year round, but here is a look at her again. This is totally appropriate for office wear, work wear, formal events. But me personally, with having a little bit of a edgier style, I would style this piece low-waisted skirt crop top boots gold jewelry you can edge it up you can style it up it doesn't have to be inherently formal even though it is a more midi length skirt isn't she a cutie so let me give you guys a close-up look you have four button details to the front off center of the skirt with gold cc's as this is 1997 piece these cc's are 24k gold on this um, it does kind of have a little crossover moment, so if you're sitting down, you can get a little peep of skin higher up on the leg, but this is in an excellent, excellent condition overall. And then here is a look, oops, at the tag as well. Here you guys go. And then let me give you a measurement. I'm going to do a waist measurement, a hip measurement, and then a drop measurement. So give me a moment. I do have to go to the ground for this to make it work. Let me grab my measuring tape. <laughs> okay, 
let's do this thing look at the price on this so if this is your size if you can make this work this is such a steal so the waist is going to measure in at about 14 inches so 28 all the way around the widest point of the hips 18 inches so what is that 8 plus 8 is 16 26 or 36 inches sorry I'm awful at math and then the length of the skirt is going to be about 22 and a half inches so I hope that helps you guys it is a mark size French 42 so approximately a 26 inch waist excellent condition from 1997 and this piece is up and available for this is such a good price 420 pounds and that is 538 us dollars so let me know if there are any questions if not i'm going to keep moving through some more ready to wear next piece is going to be a bit more casual everyday running errands whatever it is type of vibe and then i have a super super gorgeous rare kind of more formal jacket to follow hi jen thank you i don't have any earrings i have been stuck with the same earrings that you've probably seen in previous shows i haven't had any new arrivals come through yet but i probably will soon i'm keeping an eye out for it every single day but no new chanel earrings as of right now okay so let's keep it moving up next this is a new arrival i recently got this one in for you guys um, we're going to take a look at ULC1051, ULC1051. Hi, Jazz. Happy Thursday. How are you? This is the Chanel Sportsline Zip Up Jacket. It kind of has almost like a velory vibe to it. Let me unzip and give you details. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Happy Thursday. All right. Let me get this unzipped. I will try this on for you guys as well. Okay. Oops. Where is our tag? There we go. <laughs> so this jacket is going to be a marked size 40, marked size 40. It is from 2008 spring summer, 2008 spring summer, and our composition here is very hard to read. It looks like it's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. But I'll give you guys a overall look. I did just unzip it, but this is a hoodie jacket kind of gives a velour feel to it it's very lightweight so good for the spring season down the sleeve you have this sporty little stripe detail framed with white and then a subtle chanel with a cc pattern all the way down the arms there is a little cuff at the end of the sleeves with white trim there's a look at your inner tag and then all of the zippers on this i love this it's like ruthenium hardware with a little cc almost like padlock motif. So you get that for the main zipper, but also on the two pocket zippers, which I absolutely love. So it's a size marked 40. I'm gonna throw her on real quick so we can see the vibes, but this with some leggings and some sneakers. I do have some Chanel sneakers in the show today. I think would be a really cute kind of off duty, casual, but fashion conscious fit. Okay. So, do do do. Sorry, I am struggling with zippers so hard because I have this silly little band-aid that I'm still relying on <laughs> until my finger heals up. Okay, we made it. <laughs> so here is the jacket on. It is super duper comfortable. And again, you get that really sporty vibe. I'll zip it up for you guys as well. Let's see if my finger allows <laughs> there we go cute so you can zip it all the way up again you're going to get that cc detail little pop of white up at the top thank you cherry i recently did a color like at home hair glaze slash gloss treatment and it worked wonders for me the brand is called glaze if anyone wants to try it out i could not recommend it enough it was so easy to do and the results are absolutely killer all right so let me throw the hood up too and look how cute she is pockets cc hardware details just a really good essential piece to have in your collection if you're a sporty gal if you play tennis or something showing up to the court with this and a little tennis skirt in your sneakers would be the cutest cutest thing ever but if you guys are interested now my hair's almost up <laughs> this piece is up and available here's another look at the sleeves for 695 pounds and that is 889 us dollars 
So we just have one more piece of ready to wear, then we will move into bags and other goodies. But this next piece is my fave of the bunch. So last but not least, this is such an amazing jacket, you guys. We're going to look at UKC1178, UKC1178. This is from 1996, spring, summer. This is our hook and eye jacket from Chanel. She is a marked size 40. Let me give you the composition. This jacket is looks like oh my gosh i can't read the percentages on this but it is silk and spandex and yeah okay anyways here is a look at her on the hanger it is the most stunning chocolate brown coat as you can see all the way along the front of this jacket you get a hook and eye closure which kind of gives this like edgy nod to maybe like a corset something about this is just giving kind of like i don't know it's sexy if i can say that this is a sexy but classy jacket from chanel as far as having cc detailings on this piece on both sleeves you do get four 24k gold buttons with the cc on both sides i love that this has four pockets as well even with the hook eye closure detail there as well so let me try to wiggle my way into this piece but this is absolutely stunning okay even the lining the interior lining of this it's the same chocolate brown i feel like it's not reading on camera but there are little scattered cc's all the way through and yes if this doesn't sell during the show i will be taking it down because i need to get this photographed you guys but i wanted to give you first dibs just in case roxana how are you happy thursday Oh, this feels good on the body. It does have the chain at the bottom too to kind of weigh the jacket down so it sits nicely on you. I don't really have any jewelry. I have one brooch, but I did not pull any jewelry since I try to keep all jewelry now for my Saturday shows. All right, so let me kind of do this up if I can. Do I believe in myself? We will see. Two. I'll just do it up like five hook eyes maybe four because I like that look but you could do it all the way down if you wanted to and that would really slim the waist in or you can leave it open like I have it right now which I think looks absolutely stunning this is insane so I would say sizing wise I have shorter arms and the sleeve length feels great on me if anything it's a little bit long on me so I would say this would probably work up to a US 6 or 8 maybe like a non busty 8 but it is a marked size 40 from 1996 chocolate brown hook eye detail i've never seen this before this is the first time i've had a hook eye closure jacket in from chanel and again the button details on the sleeves are everything so this piece is up and available for 1695 pounds and that is 2169 us dollars so that's all of the ready to wear i pulled for today three really cute really different options <laughs> let me know if anyone has any questions on them and if not, let's get into all the gorgeous pieces that I have on the shelf today. And if anyone sees something that's already caught their eye, shout it out. Let me know. I love to bounce off your guys' requests. Okay. But if not, where do I want to start? I want to start with the medallion toe because this is probably like up there in my all-time top three chanel bags that have ever been made i'm such a sucker for a medallion tote the last chanel show i did i did have a pink one in but i did recently get the black in as well so let me get the skew real quick okay so this is going to be 137630 137630 our black quilted caviar medallion tote it is just coming as is but i do have a spare chanel dust bag so again the first person to buy a chanel bag that doesn't come with the back the dust bag i will gift you the one spare that i do have here so this is hi laura a gold mini oh i 
don't have one pulled in the show today. The closest thing I have is a vanity case over here, but this is like a nude lambskin color. So I don't have any metallic gold options. I have this little like cosmetic pouch that's more of a metallic bronze, but that would be it. But Laura, shoot me an email, remind me that you're on the hunt for that and I can send you over some options. All right, so this is between 1997 to 1999, which makes me love it more because that's within my birth year range. Full black caviar. This one is paired with gold hardware. Laura, I'm going to take a screenshot of that so I can double check with my inventory here. All right, I'm going to give you guys a look. Out of all of the medallion tote bag colors that have been made, as much as I love the pinks and the creams and the tans, I think black is ultimately the best, best option to go for. Easy to style. It's going to stay looking pristine for such a long time. Again, this bag is pretty much as old as I am, but she looks better than I do. <laughs> but it's full caviar leather with a big CC on the front. A very famous and very sought after beloved bag. The bottom is full black caviar. I'm going to take a look at the corners with my eyes. There's tiny little rub to this one corner. The second corner looks good, no issues over here. Third issue, or issue, third corner, just a little bit of dullness, but no real immediate signs of wear. And this fourth corner, I would say, has the most rub, but it is still quite minor. And again, granted that this is a black bag, you can hit it with some black leather conditioner, some polish, and it will stay looking really nice. And again, it does comfortably fit on the shoulder no issues there so let me show you guys the interior it does fully zip across the top so it can keep all of your inner belongings nice and safe which is another feature i love of this bag inside is all black leather there's your chanel oops over here chanel logo over here zip pocket to this side and absolutely sam are you talking the one in the middle or the Chanel 19 over there? Let me know which one. The mini or the 19. Made in France on this bag. This pocket looks nice and clean. I don't see any visible press marks or really any issues. No smell either. Serial code is fully visible. And let me just check in this pocket. Oops, I zipped it closed. All right, and our other pocket looks excellent as well so overall i'd probably give this like an 8.9 out of 10 very 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 good vintage condition level absolutely amy i'm gonna do the white for sam first and then i'll do both of the 19s so 8.9 out of 10 a beautiful medallion tote she is up and available for 1695 pounds and that is 2169 us dollars it's a great price for this bag again another piece where i would encourage you to do some market research these usually fetch quite a bit more than the price that i have this at for so let me know if there's any questions and then i will go through the queue of requests for you guys up next all right So this is such a good one. Oh my lord, I'm really glad. This was requested by Sam, I believe. All right, Sam, this one is for you. So the SKU number, Isabel, for this one is going to be 136860, 136860. It's our white quilted caviar small wavy CC hobo bag, and it's coming with its box, dust bag, and care booklet. Oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. This is stunning, you guys. So here is a look at her. She's a mini bag, but you can still fit any size iPhone in here. You can actually fit quite a bit. Just give you a brief little 360 look at this. Hi, Ada. How are you, my love? All right, so it's full white caviar gold hardware. I love on the strap, you get this little charm that says Chanel Paris with the number five on it. The top of the strap is done in caviar as well, so it's nice and comfortable to wear. Looks so good on as a crossbody. This is one of my favorite, favorite crossbody silhouettes. For height reference, I'm five foot six. My hip bones are like right here, so the top of the bag is on my lower waist and it goes down onto my leg. Not too long, not too short, just exactly where I would want it. 
And I also love how the strap goes through the two eyelets on the bag and kind of makes this little, I don't even know what to call this, but I love it. And absolutely, I have a queue after this of two bags and then I will do that one for you next. All right, so let's look at the front here. The CC is still wrapped in its plastic. This bag is truly giving pristine vibes. There's no signs of wear to the exterior. This front pocket is functional. It's a little magnetic snap seal still on the inner hardware as well. Isn't this darling? Inside this front pocket is where you find your microchip and then you have a nice clean beige canvas in here. There's also a button snap to close the main pocket if you want to. But again, for this main compartment, you have the beige fabric with one beige leather pocket in here. This is giving me like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level. I mean, seals are still on. It's coming as it's set. It doesn't look like it's ever been used before. So that is her. She is pinned up and available to take a look at. There's additional images and description details if you click down below. But this is up and available for 5,700 pounds, which is 7,298 US dollars. So let me know if there are any questions. This is a stunning bag. This might be like one of my all-time favorite white Chanel bags I've had in. Definitely something I would go for as far as style and vibe of the bag. Not to mention it's caviar. I love white caviar, but that is her. All right, so we're going to go through our two Chanel 19s up next. I pulled the best price ones I have in New York City, um, and then we will do the little red, white, and blue filigree. All right, so let's start with the cream since we had two people ask for this one. The cream is going to be the larger size that I do have today. Get the skew. First Chanel 19 is going to be 134901. 134901. This is the Ivory Shiny Quilted Maxi Chanel 19 flat bag coming with its authenticity card. Again, I believe this is the largest size they make of the Chanel 19. So you can carry her top handle or use the long strap as well. If we aren't already familiar with this bag, this bag was the last bag or one of the final bags that Karl Lagerfeld designed for the house of Chanel before he did pass away. So it's a cult classic, even though it is technically a more current piece. I see these on the streets literally every single day in New York City. I feel like it's a city girl's like number one go-to bag within the past five, six years. Super popular. They're very comfortable to carry and they just have a really cool kind of like more casual but super chic look about them. I love a Chanel 19. So here's a up close look. This one has the gold braided hardware CC to the front. Of course, the long strap is mixed metal with gold hardware, shiny silver popping out at you and a little pop of ruthenium on the top strap. I'll show this as a crossbody real quick before I go over her condition. But again, five foot six. So this is a higher cross, what we call like a French girl crossbody on this but personally for this size since this is the larger size i would probably be more likely to carry her as a long shoulder bag that's just me but i think it looks really really good this way and this size you can fit a laptop inside i think it's the only size out of the chanel 19s where you can do that so let me show you a 360 there are 40 of you guys in the house thank you for being here with me so it's a really beautiful kind of off-white color they do call it ivory so here's a 360 look. The leather on this looks immaculate. Let's look at our corners and the bottom. Bottom is nice and clean. Corners have very minor rub to them. Here's the first corner, second corner, but this will be factored into the price point. Third corner, fourth corner. So super minor, you'd have to be really close and really looking to even notice it, I would say. There is a open concept back pocket that does open with a button snap over here. So upon opening, that is how she looks inside. Okay. And then let me show you the main compartment as well. Sorry guys, I feel like a sneeze is coming on. I'm going to have a sneeze attack. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. Ellen, happy Thursday queen. How are you? All right, so upon opening, here is a look at your inner top flap, which is super nice and clean all over. No scuffing or scratching to this inner leather. Let me 
and stuff her. And then the interior of the bag has light signs of wear. If this bothers you, you could definitely take this to be cleaned as it is a fabric interior. Personally, I wouldn't mind, or you can always throw a bag insert in there as well. But overall, more of like an eight out of 10 condition level piece. This is a series 30, serial code is fully there. You have the hardware Chanel logo to the inside. This still has its seals on it. And this interior pocket looks nice and clean. So again, eight out of 10 condition level overall is what I would give this piece. The largest size of the Chanel 19 in ivory and she is up and available for 5,500 pounds. And that is 7,043 US dollars. I feel you, Ellen. <laughs> I am all for when you hit that limit, there's only so much you can do at work. If you hit that limit, take care of yourself first and foremost. Take that break. You are worth it. It'll help you be more productive after the fact. So yes, Ellen, I support it. <laughs> all right, so that is her, you guys. Let's do a smaller size in black up next. Alrighty. So this next one is, uh, is going to be 133402, 133402. I feel like this whole week has had that vibe, not just for me, not just for Isabel, for, but for most people I've talked to, this week has just been one of those weeks where you're just like, oh, <laughs> but I'm good. I'm hanging in there, guys. Don't worry about me. All right. This is our Chanel black shiny lambskin Chanel 19 flat bag coming with its dust bag authenticity card and its retail tag. So the last one just came as is, but this does have a little bit of its original bits and pieces included so here is a look at her i think the other one is more suitable for work or travel whereas this size of the chanel 19 feels a little bit more in mind with like an everyday bag as far as what i see on the streets in new york city most people are carrying this size and most of the time i am seeing it in black so this might be the most popular option when it comes to this line of bags but i'll give you guys a little 360 Again, with the gold top handle chain, the mixed metal crossbody, ruthenium, silvers, and golds all throughout. So you can wear any jewelry with this without fear of it clashing. So here's how the smaller size looks as a crossbody, or you could have it more off to the side like so. Super pretty. This one is circa 2019 to 2020. And then as a long shoulder bag, she'd look a little something like so super cute so condition wise for this piece there is a little tiny bit of tarnish a little bit of the silver popping through just on the turn knob again you only really notice it in certain lighting i feel like you don't notice it from even just like two feet away but if you're looking super up close that would be the only time that you would notice but again a 360 on the leather thank you moira that is so so sweet i've been loving it i appreciate it thank you <laughs> You guys know me, I can't commit to one color. I have to change my vibe all the time. So here's what the open concept back pocket looks like for the black model. It will have red canvas lining with a button snap. Here is the side. And then let me just look over the corners on this one. Three. Cool, corners are looking excellent. This one corner, if I had to say, one out of four corners has a very minor, a little baby amount of rub, but the other three don't have any noticeable issues. And again, I'm just being kind of overly hypercritical about it. So let me open her up. All right, here is a look at the inner flap. I'm gonna get this unstuffed. So dust bag is included. Again, this one has a full red canvas interior hardware inner Chanel logo. And the serial code is also fully visible for this one. So this piece is up and available for 4,845 pounds. And that is 6,204 US dollars. So those are my two Chanel 19s that I have today. Let me know if there are any questions or anything that you guys want to see again, if that's the case. But I hope that was helpful. All right, next we're going to do the other request that we had. And this is probably one of my favorite, favorite bags of the whole day by far. 
I think this is so stinking chic. And it's gonna be up for a great price too. So let me get the skew. All right, up next we have 137894, 137894. It's from the filigree line. This is our blue, white, and red quilted caviar double zip filigree clutch. It is just coming as is, but again, like I said, the first person to purchase a Chanel bag that doesn't have its dust bag, I have one spare Chanel dust bag here that I will gift to you. But this is a full caviar piece. I want to show you it as a crossbody first before we dive into condition details. I love the colors, I love the shape, and I love that this is on the longer side. And I think it does. Let me grab my extra phone real quick. I'm willing to bet five dollars five cold hard pieces of cash that it does because this also has a open concept middle pocket so if you can't get it in the two zip pockets you can just throw your phone look at that it fits you couldn't even tell there's a phone in here but it is sandwiched in the middle let me try it in the zip pocket as well just to fully confirm for you yep and this is a max i got an iphone max zipped up in here so we are confirming a hundred percent that a phone can fit inside easy peasy just like that <laughs> all right but again here's how she looks as crossbody i am five foot six right it's such a good summer bag or even a travel bag if you just need something a little smaller to have your essential items on you i think this would be great taking a trip to london with this bag i don't know it gives me london vibes <laughs> But it's paired with gold hardware, so the chain is red leather with gold hardware. It's full caviar. The front, you get that royal blue with the little gold CCs on all four ends of the white trim of the CC. White trim all around. Give you guys a 360. It's in excellent condition for the exterior. Here is the bottom as well. It's a great price. This is cheaper than what most wallet on chains are, and this is a more special piece. No visible corner wear whatsoever. So again, as mentioned, this has a open concept middle pocket split between the two zip pockets, but I'll show you guys the zip pockets next. <laughs> All right, so to the front, it is lined with that royal blue canvas. This front pocket has three card holders inside, so kind of functioning like a wallet on chain. And then let me show you the back pocket as well. Do, do, do. All right, so the back pocket mirrors the front. You get your um, serial code is fully visible. It's a series 27. And then three more card holders to this back pocket. I would give this like a 9.5 out of 10 condition level. It is stunning. It looks new to the eye. I'm only downgrading it just because it doesn't have its seals on the hardware but one more thing to note is the strap is removable so you can entirely remove the chain strap use her as a clutch if you want to or a bag organizer or add your own chain if you wanted to convert this to be a cute little shoulder bag you absolutely could so i really love that and of course and my pleasure so if you guys are interested great price on this one it is 2395 pounds which is 3066 us dollars all right sorry if my voice sounds off today you guys i think there's something in this office where occasionally it affects my allergies so bad and it's hitting me hard today so i apologize if i start sniffling through the rest of the show all right so i'm all caught up on requests if i missed any don't feel bad shoot me a reminder but if not i'm just gonna start pulling pieces for you guys i might get our two pairs of sneakers up just in case and then we'll go back into bags so let's do that. Okay, so this first pair of sneakers is going to be 134706, 134706. These are our white mesh and leather CC logo trainers. They are a marked size 42. I tried to bring some larger sizes today. Um, I wish I could bring a full range of sizes, but you guys know how it goes with shoes, but these are a marked size 42 and they come with their Chanel box and dust bag for each shoe. So now, let me show you. This colorway is a thousand million percent like an it girl sneaker. This with the zip up hoodie I showed earlier would be amazing. Hi R, I don't have any trendies today, I don't think. The closest thing I have would be this little red caviar top handle, but I don't have any true trendies pulled in the show. 
Cherry, probably. That's actually a good point. <laughs> like, let me tell the biz building manager that because it affects me so bad randomly out of the blue. All right, so these sneakers have the Chanel tag motif on both of the tongues. They do have leather as well as suede and then again the mesh nylon paired with black suede CCs on both sides of the sneakers. The back, you get this really cute little hardware CC button snap detail. And then again, the word Chanel is done in the rubber to the back of the shoe. The inside looks super cushy and comfortable. I do have some red bags. I have one red bag and one red little small leather good. I'll do the red bag next for you more uh, after the shoes. All right, these do come with extra laces as well. You do get the little CCs to the front of the toe. And then the bottom of the shoes, these look in excellent condition. If anything, maybe they were tried on once, but I don't think they ever were worn outside. They don't appear to be. So yeah, 42 is our marked size. These are up and available for 925 pounds, which is 1,184 US dollars. So I have one more pair of shoes and then I'll do that red bag for you. These next ones, again, I love tennis. I come from a tennis background. I played tennis for many years of my life, so these reminded me of tennis, so I automatically love them. Hi, Shirley! How are you, my love? Happy Thursday, queen. Oh my god. These aller I should. I need to bring allergy medication. That's it. <laughs> so, up next we have 135754. 135754. These are from 2019 Spring Summer. There are Chanel neon yellow Lycra interlocking CC sneakers coming with their box, extra laces, and dust bag. And these are a little bit smaller. These are a marked size 39 and a half. 39 and a half. Me too, Isabel. I think don't be afraid of the yellow in this case because, because, because you also get white and black. So you can wear this with athleisure, whites, blacks, whatever it is, and just allow the shoe to do this talking and be that pop of color in your outfit. But I love these. I don't know. I think they're really chic. They're kind of like, ugh, it's a hard material to describe. It almost kind of feels like a wetsuit in a way. If you guys have felt a wetsuit before, it's kind of giving that material, but you get the little peekaboo CC motif to the sides. Here's what the back looks like. They're super lightweight too, so I'm imagining super, super comfortable to wear. And then to the front of the toes in the rubber, you get the full Chanel spelled out. Here's the bottoms, which are nice and clean. Sticker's still on, so unworn with this cool CC detail. The tongue of the shoe is super plush and gushy, so again, adding to the comfort factor. And again, you have this kind of like memory foam bottom of the shoe so these are excellent condition coming as they're set from 2019 spring summer and they are up and available for 810 pounds which is a thousand and thirty seven us dollars sharina happy thursday the only accessories i have i have three little pouches and i have one brooch or brooch i always say it differently <laughs> But let me know if you want to see the brooch. It's a really cool collectible one. But before that, I did have a request for the red bag. So I'm going to do that next. And then maybe I'll go through the shelf of little extra accessories. Okay. Exactly. Tessa. Good for you, sister. If you're ever in New York and you want a tennis buddy, hit me up. I got my rackets. I got my A game. And I will bring it, girl. <laughs> Sounds good, Sharina. I'll do the brooch after this bag for you. Okay, let me get this skew. I love this bag. So next, we're going to take a look at 136737. <laughs> that... Okay, but if I can just say, playing tennis on the Wii is so stinking fun. To this day, the Wii is one of the most iconic gaming systems. I love the Wii. <laughs> you can ask my mom. Me and my mom, that was all we would do when I would come home from school. Boot up the Wii, Wii tennis all day, every day. <laughs> so this is 136737. It's our Chanel red quilted caviar carry around mini bowling bag. I've never had this model in before and I am loving it. It's coming just with its authenticity card. But again, first person to buy a bag without a dust bag, I have one that I can give to you. Hi, AP. Happy Thursday. How are you, lovely? This is a 24 series coming with its card. And let me show her to you. <laughs> yep, there's Robin confirming that we are wee girlies. 
All right, this is so stinking cute, you guys. You're getting this really beautiful, moody, darker red. It's not quite burgundy. It's still a true red, but it's on the darker side. Done in caviar, paired with gold hardware. Two different compartments. Look at this zip pull design. I've never seen this before. It's a hard metal plate. On one side, it says Chanel. The other side, you get the CC details. So you get those zips on both compartments of the bag and it does have a top handle that also has a full hardware plate sewn onto it. Beck, those were the only two shoes I have today, unfortunately. Oh, you're right in the middle. I had a 39 and a half and a 42. I feel like maybe the 39 and a half could work, but I don't have any two, true 40s today. All right, so I'm gonna throw this on as a crossbody before we dive in. But again, you get a attached crossbody strap Oops, kind of tingled there. Ah, she's spinning on me. <laughs> okay, let me get this sorted. Like one more time. There we go. With a comfort caviar leather strip to the top. So as a crossbody, this looks so cute. I love this bag. Again, I'm five foot six. So this can be tall girl friendly, but again, if you're on the shorter side, still a really chic length of a crossbody to wear. And of course you can just carry her by her top handle as well. <clears throat> all right so the bottom of the bag you do have four gold feet and honestly wear is super minimal to the feet just a tiny bit of tarnish mostly on this foot but they look really good overall corners this corner looks great no issues great no issues amazing no corner wear detected on this piece you do have a open concept front pocket where the cc is just a little button snap with matching red canvas lining in there and now let's dive into our zip pockets. Start with the front, get this unstuffed. So it opens up kind of like accordion style. This is a full open concept pocket. So you could fit any size phone in here easily. And it does have its visible serial code inside. I don't see any stains or issues to this front pocket. And then I'll show you guys the other pocket. All right, so the back pocket. Boop. Doesn't open up as wide as the front, but you do get a inner pocket to the back with your Chanel logo. Again, you could still fit a lot inside of here. Black beige basket hiding in the corner. Oh yeah, absolutely. Did I forget? So after this one, I'm doing the brooch and then I'll do that one for you. No worries, Ed. All right. So that is everything about this little red moment. I love this piece. I think it is super duper cute. I love a mini bowling bag vibe. She is up and available for 4,645 pounds. And that is 5,949 US dollars. So cute. I love the zippers on this. Really unique. Okay, so let's do our brooch next. This is super rare and collectible and i know i price this to be extremely competitive with other listings that are out there on the internet or the market whatever you want to say very competitive price point for a highly collectible brooch up next this is going to be ulc 1043 ulc 1043 and isabel if you can just remind me the year on this unless i can see it it is 90s i think it's yeah 1998 fall winter 1998 fall winter I'm gonna flip the camera it's so pretty so this is a full on 24k gold textured cc pin brooch but as you can see it's paired with this little bell top tassel is it not oh no okay i'll add that in later but 1998 fall winter tassel brooch Again, I saw these on the market pretty close thank you is for like pretty close to double what I have this priced for it is just coming as is for you guys but it's an excellent condition level there is no tarnish at all to the gold the pin is original to the back there's no tarnish greening or any scratching or issues to the back as well just a super beautiful look at this on my shirt that would look so cute oh my god 
<laughs> just like a cheap whatever shirt if I add this brooch on and I wore a nicer pair of black pants or maybe a black skirt this would elevate my look like 200% so you can play around with wearing this as like jewelry or styling it with your clothes um, or you could just have it off center I love the look of a brooch on jeans as well if I didn't have a belt on just could be a little pop of pizzazz but also if you attached it to a headband or a hair clip you could wear this in the hair as well but again do your research you guys I have this at such a competitive price point in excellent 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 condition I would say from 1998 we'll get the price up momentarily there are pictures sometimes there's just an issue with technology so I don't know why that happens but I know there's pictures for this one you guys and again I've seen these fetching in the high 2000s close to 3000 on other listings online so I have it up and available for 1195 pounds and that is 1530 US dollars so let me know if there's any questions that's the only brooch I have today but it's a good one <laughs> it's a spectacular one even okay so what was in the, oh the little basket bag is up next cool so this is coming with its fox and dust bag Isabel, if you could just double check the quantity on this one. I don't know if it's being a problem child, but I have a feeling it might be. But the SKU is going to be AGL1548. AGL1548. This is our Chanel Black Wicker Basket Crossbody Little Vanity Case. Coming box dust bag and authenticity card. Let me just pull that card out. It even has its original little card protectors to the inside but this is a series 30 30 series I'm gonna zip her back up I'll show you what it looks like on as a crossbody first but this is such a stinking cute bag so it's a full chain strap on this so good it actually looks really good with my outfit today thank you Isa all right so I'll keep talking us through here she is as a crossbody I feel like your options for styling this piece are pretty limitless. You could wear this casually by all means, but also I would absolutely take this on vacation and kind of style it up. Uh, I do not, Tessa, I don't have any business affinities today. I do have some available in New York City. I just didn't pull them for the show. So shoot me an email and I can show you the options for business affinities that I do have. All right, so we still have seals on the front CC gold hardware here. This is wicker basket material with stitching details. And again, it's done in a like glossy black stripe paired with the natural fibers of the wicker. All the way around, you're getting that stripe pattern even on the top of the bag. The bottom of the bag though is done in black lambskin. If I'm being super nitpicky, there's just a couple little press marks but this will air itself out. It's just from how it was being stored. So if you just massage this out, it'll fix itself, but it's really not noticeable. I'm just being a little extra with my condition call outs. So it does have two zip pulls to the side here. So let's dive inside. Upon opening to the top flap, you get your Chanel logo. It's full black canvas lining in here. Serial code is visible over here actually a pretty roomy bag you can fit an iphone inside it has three pockets for card holders to the back of it then you also have this little loopy like a literal loop not loopy <laughs> loop pocket to the side which is designed for you to be able to put your lipstick in and have it sitting straight up and down you also could put like a mini perfume in here too if you want to just keep that safe to the side but overall this is absolutely an excellent condition bag it is rare it's a collectible piece and it is just stunning i love even the tiny little zip undersides of the zippers have cc details done into the hardware really well thought out design of the bag coming as it's set isabelle's on the back end just fixing this up for us but we'll get that price up for you guys as soon as we can in the meantime i will give you another look at how she looks on I love this one. And you could also wear her as a long shoulder bag too. Like so. That's how I would wear it personally. All right. So she is up. 
This piece is available for 4,200 pounds, and that is 5,380 US dollars. Okay, I'm gonna do the, kind of the same shape, but a different vibe up next so you guys can compare and contrast. All right. So our next piece is going to be 138112, 138-112. This is our Chanel 2022 beige quilted lambskin small pearl crush vanity case with chain coming with its box dust bag, mirror, receipt, gift ribbon, book, care booklet, and retail tag. So this is a true 100% full set that you are getting with this bag for my neutral girlies done in lambskin from the pearl crush collection this is stunning okay i'll try her on first but as you can see you get that little mechanism where if you want to convert this to be a shorter strap you absolutely can as it is right now this is it at its longest so tall girl friendly again i'm five foot six hits a little bit below my hip bone which is like right here i love this color but I also want to show you it converted to be a shoulder bag because I'm more personally of a shoulder bag type of person. So you just push the CC down on this hardware detail here and you can pull the strap through to make it a little shoulder bag. And personally, if this were my bag and I did that, I would just tie the strap loosely like so, just so it doesn't hang as much, but it gives a really, really cool look. So that's how I would style it. Let me untie her though. <laughs> but this is like the perfect nude neutral beige color. Isn't it cute as a shoulder bag? Okay, let me give you guys a 360. So there's no seals on the hardware, but this is still in like a pristine condition. The lambskin leather is glossy, it's puffy. There are no press marks, no stains, no issues. And the bottom of this one has a big CC stitched into it a not necessary detail but an extra little bit of pizzazz into the bag that i really appreciate and love this is a great price on this piece for what you're getting plus the condition level so let's dive inside because the exterior is truly pristine no corner wear no issues double zip again i'll open her up so upon opening you get a huge mirror taking up the whole top flap the mirror actually looks great. It could use a little wipe down with like a glasses cleaning. Oh my gosh, wait, I feel a sneeze coming. <coughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> excuse me guys. But yeah, I just need a little wipe down, but there's no scratches or issues to the mirror itself. So still, I would say excellent condition on this mirror. And dust bag included. <gasps> this is gorgeous. It has a metallic gold leather interior so again you get that little loop for a lipstick or a mini perfume you have three card holders inside and your visible little microchip over here so overall i'd probably give this like a 9.7 out of 10 condition level it is gorgeous true full set everything you could possibly want is included and this piece is up and available for 3,695 pounds, and that is 4,733 US dollars. And that is her. Okay. I think I'm just gonna work shelf row by shelf row. So let's do a fun little pop of pink up next. Oh, this color, I have two gorgeous pink flaps today, but I think between the two, this one might be my favorite. I love the shade of pink. Okay, so this is 134813, 134813. It's our pink quilted lambskin small classic double flap coming with box, dust bag, and its care booklet. Okay. So this is more, I don't know how I would describe this, kind of like a strawberry matcha pink, if you will. It's more of a muted pink, not quite a true baby pink or ballet slipper, but not quite a hot pink either. It's kind of living right in between. So it's more of a soft 
pastel almost like a florally type of pink if anything this is like an ideal blush or lipstick color shade of pink it's paired with champagne gold hardware done in lambskin this leather is an excellent condition level you guys here is a look at the bottom and the corners looking with my eyeballs as well no corner wear detected so excellent excellent exterior condition on the small double flap you can also pull through to make her a crossbody so again more of that like parisian girl across a little bit higher up on the body um maxi on top shell oh yeah, yeah yeah absolutely i'll do that one next for you sue sorry i had a brain fart there but here's how she looks as a crossbody I actually did a little price slash on that maxi too for you, Sue. That's a good one to go for. All right, let me dive inside because exterior is giving pristine. So upon opening, this is a double flap. So here is a look at your first interior flap. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this color of pink. And then the second flap, this is fully monochromatic. So you're getting that same color of pink. This is a microchip piece, so more current. Here's a look at the first pocket, no signs of wear in there. And the main compartment, again, there's a microchip done in gold, your two inner pockets. This is in an excellent condition level. Truly overall, I'd probably give this like a 9.7 out of 10. Coming as its box set. And she is up and available. This again is a seasonal color from Chanel for 7,500 pounds, and that is 9,605 US dollars. And that is her. All right, so let's do the request for Sue up next. Another gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Cool. So this next piece is going to be 137733, 137733, and this is our black quilted lambskin jumbo double flat bag. So it is a jumbo, Sue, just to clarify, um, but it's coming with its box and dust bag. And again, I did do a little bit of a lower price on this one. So here she is. The classic of all classics to go for if you are in the market for a double flap and you do want something on the larger size, this is what I would a thousand percent recommend going for. So as you can see, the lambskin on this is super glossy and puffy as well. Just giving you a 360 look at her. But it's giving excellent condition on this as well. This is traditional gold hardware, so not champagne. It is still on the more yellow tone side circa 2012 that is shocking to me i thought for sure this was more current but she's look at her from afar this is like oh she's so glossy and good wow okay i'm impressed <laughs> let me look at the bottom for you looks like maybe a couple minor little press marks to the bottom but again i'm in front of a ring light so let me turn the ring light off because when you're in kind of normal lighting you're not really going to notice, but with the ring light on, it does highlight imperfections. So do just keep that in mind. This is such a good price for this piece. So let's open her up and dive inside. Here's a look under the first flap. Nice and glossy as well. And then the second flap is where you're getting your traditional pop of burgundy with that CC stitched in there as well comes with its dust bag. Show you the full interior. Let's start with this front pocket. So just a normal press mark from the hardware that is inevitable. It's not anything to be afraid of or to turn you off from this bag. It happens inevitably just in the nature of the design. The inner top flap is in excellent condition. Again, keeping in mind, this is from 2012. Here's a look at the whole interior. I would say at most there's like a little bit of a scuff mark to that inner pocket and a little bit of scuffs over to this side, but it is super duper minor. Serial code is fully visible. So let me pull the strap through for you so you can see her style both ways. 
so here's a look at it how I would wear it as a shoulder bag this size even with the straps doubled up you can get away with wearing it as a higher crossbody if that's your vibe and you want it doubled up like so but if not of course you can pull through to make it crossbody as well and it will be a longer cross toddler friendly as I like to say if it's too low for you you can kind of work the chain and have it sit in a way to where it's going to be higher or get like a chain clip and clip it to hold it in place but traditionally I feel like most people that have this size bag are just always wearing it on their shoulders that's what I see the most okay so this piece circa 2012 is up and available for such a good price 6,110 pounds and that is 7,825 US dollars. So let me know if there's any questions Sue. I hope that helps. I'm gonna stuff her back up and then we're gonna keep moving guys. Let me pull Going back through. great toe this price point is fantastic on this piece um if i did do early bird deals which i forgot to do today this would have been the first bag i grabbed for that if that tells you anything so the skew here is one three six seven five nine one three six seven five nine this is our black quilted aged calfskin i love calfskin bags from chanel they look like lambskin but they're more durable um, it's the medium cotton club tote coming with dust bag care booklet and it's authenticity card. This is going to be a steal of a deal for you guys. So let's look at her. This one's from my silver hardware girlies. You get the big CC off put to the side of the tote overall the diamante stitched crumpled calf skin shiny looks like lambskin but is so much more low maintenance and durable compared to lambskin i find it has this really cool wraparound functional zip pocket to the side you can actually fit a lot in here but it also just serves as an additional little design slash vibe detail of the bag and then to the back of the tote you do have a traditional little chanel back pocket which i would throw my phone stuff i'm grabbing out a lot in and out of so again 360 excellent exterior condition the bottom of this bag has five silver feet to protect it it looks in excellent condition for the bottom i'm just looking over the corners and no corner wear this is a goodie you guys so no corner wear excellent exterior condition let me show you this front pocket so it does truly function. It's not just there for vibes. And then inside is red canvas lining. A little secret stash compartment, if you will. <laughs> and interestingly too, there are T-bars with the straps of this bag. So if you did want to remove the strap for whatever reason, you could and add your own. But let me unstuff her and show you the interior. It does bag included. So before I show you the whole interior, it does have a top zip done in black canvas to keep everything nice and safe inside. Silver hardware Chanel CC zip pull there. It does have the little clip for your keys. Visible serial code. This is a series 11. It looks so good for its age. And then here is a overall look at the interior. So you have two like pen holder pockets, smaller pocket over here, zip pocket to this side, and then your inner Chanel logo and another zip pocket over here. So it's lightly pre-loved to the interior, no real like solid stains or anything, but you can just tell it's been lightly pre-loved. So I'd probably give this overall like an 8.5 out of 10 condition level. Stuff her back up. 
And look at the price. This is such a good price for this piece. I feel like this is such a good everyday, low maintenance, low worry, grab and go Chanel tote for work, for travel, whatever it is. She is that girl. Right? I agree, Shirley. I honestly would prefer this over the GST as well. And I also find that this is significantly lighter in weight compared to the GST. The GST is a little bit heavy even when it's empty, I find. Whereas this is not. So that's a good point. Thank you, Shirley, for that. And depending on where you wear it, you could have the CC to the back or to the front, like so. Super cute. Definitely would fit a laptop too. So this is up and available. That's true, Isa. For 1,810 pounds, that's a great price for what you're getting. And that is 2,318 US dollars. And that is her. All right, so every bag on this row shelf has been shown. Let's do my ittiest, bittiest, miniest bag of the day. Um, Isabel, let me know if you need me to get this cue for this. I couldn't fit it inside of this bag because it's so mini, but it is in the collection. But I do have this little mini drawstring, like a cylinder crossbody situation moment, you guys. Isn't she cute? I've never seen this before, actually. So it's kind of like a dark strawberry color. I wouldn't say it's a true red. I would not say it's a true pink. It's living right in between, reminiscent of a strawberry or maybe like a pomegranate even, but it's paired with champagne gold hardware. Again, just a really fun, unique mini. I had to bring it because I've never seen her before. Really good for my collectors, but it does have a crossbody chain with it. Again, this is a tiny, tiny little bag, you guys. So definitely more for the vibes and for the fashion aspect of it. Hi, N. Um, yeah, it's like a hot pink Barbie color. I'll show that one next for you. All right, so here she is, cross body. I think if you're like an artist or just an artsy fartsy person or a makeup artist, having this with like your little pencils or paint brushes or makeup brushes sticking out would be so cute. <laughs> It's so, so cute. But the exterior is in pristine condition. Again, it's a special mini bag. So with that comes a special premium price. That's the way it goes with Chanel. But it's really cool because like outside of this inner pouch, there is little functional pockets. So you could put a card or two inside. It's a series 31, but then you do get the drawstring functionality of the baby tiny pocket. Dust bag included. And she's just a little pocket in there, you guys. It's a silly, a super cute little piece had to bring her because i was like what on earth is that so she is a pristine condition 31 series for 2595 pounds and that is 3325 us dollars okay let's do this hot pink lap situation up next all right let me get situated here. <laughs> All right, so this bag is going to be 133879. 133879. This is our Chanel 2016 Cruise Collection. So this is from a hot minute ago. Again, a seasonal color. Can't get in stores. 2016 Cruise pink quilted lambskin medium classic double flap coming with box authenticity card and its retail tag isn't she special like i've had more like barbie pink toned flat bags before but this is the most like true bright bold hot pink double flap i've had so it's full lambskin leather champagne gold hardware on this beauty and as you can see again the lambskin on this. I tried to pull really excellent condition lambskin pieces today for you guys. So it's super puffy, shiny, and just rich. It's giving rich in the best way possible. Isn't this insane, N? So I'll give you a 360 look on the edges and the bottom. Under 10,000 for this US dollars is incredible. Okay, this is like a real collector's color. I'm just looking at the corners. It looks like just these two opposite side corners have the most wear. Again, it's super duper minor, like a microscopic corner wear. I'm just being really hypercritical. 
So if anything, it is the ittiest bittiest corner wear on two out of four corners. But on the shoulder, she's giving. This is so, so stunning. So that's her on the shoulder. I'll pull it through for crossbody too. Then we will dive inside. So pretty. Wow. This is the pink. If you've been in the market for a Chanel pink bag, waiting for the perfect option, this one, guys. Hear me out and go for this one. So let me show you the interior. Front CC, I don't see any scratching. Like the exterior hardware is excellent as well. So we'll turn her open. Underneath, here is our first flap. Excellent condition. There's not even like <laughs> noticeable press marks from the zipper which is the first thing I look for because that's inevitable, it happens with time, but I'm not seeing it. And we even have seals still on the interior hardware. Again, this is from 2016. So someone bought this, held on to it, probably with the intention of just selling it. So it's in excellent condition despite its age. So you get the hot pink to the double flap interior as well. Let me unstuff this real quick. So let's look at the front pocket. Nice and clean, no issues in there. And the main, gosh, there's no scratching or anything to know on this interior. I am extremely impressed. Wow. Okay, so I would probably give her a solid, solid nine out of 10 condition level, just to account for like the microscopic corner wear on two out of four corners and the fact that the front CC does not have its hardware. Again, I try to keep it hypercritical just so I can be as honest. It's champagne gold and let me flip the camera for you. Champagne gold. There you go. You can kind of see that tone better this way. And then the top hardware as well. So pretty. Is anyone thinking about this one? I want to know because I am. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, guys. She's up and available, box dust bag included, for 7,775 pounds. Isn't it special? And that is 9,959 US dollars. This might be my favorite bag of the day. Honestly, both of the pinks are really spectacular. That's how they look next to each other. That's a hard choice. Let me know in the chat, you guys, are you team small light pink? Or are you team medium hot pink? There we go. Oh, it's so good. No worries, and Oh, wow. I want both. <laughs> Having both of these in your closet is like the dream. Okay, so I'll keep us moving. Let's close out this middle shelf. I have three little pouches for you guys today. I'm gonna start with my favorite of the bunch. So this first one is going to be 133197, 133197. This is our Chanel black and beige canvas CC logo clutch. Just coming as is. Let me see the serial or the date stamp on this because this feels a little more vintagey. Oh my gosh, the angle of this. This is a eight series, eight series. Really cool. I've only had this like pattern slash material in once in my career in pre-owned luxury. So I'm a fan of this one. It is kind of like a nylony canvas exterior. It does have some stretch in the fabric. Really soft to the touch, but you get this really cute circular CC printed pattern. To the bottom portion of this. I should have stuffed this, that's my bad, because this actually can fit a lot inside, but it is empty right now. But I just love this pattern and this colorway. Along the top, of course, you're getting black leather with the same neutral stitching detail. Fully zips across the front. The zipper on one side has a CC. The other side spells out Chanel. So for size reference, here's how she looks if you carry her as a little clutch. And then, go 
compared to a iPhone. You could fit any size phone in here, absolutely no problem. Show you guys the bottom. I don't see any stains or issues to this exterior fabric to report on. I can just tell it's a little lightly pre-loved just from the look of the leather. But let me show you the interior. All right, interior is full on black canvas. Serial code visible. There's a couple marks to the interior. Again, it is a 8 series, so this is more of like a 7.9 out of 10 condition level piece, but it would be great to chuck in a bag to help stay organized, whatever it is, or just have as a clutch. So she is up and available for £1,425, and that is $1,825 US dollars. And that is her. Okay. I'm still this allergy situation I'm gonna try to like blow my nose for a second you guys don't judge me I gotta stay kicking but I gotta do this okay I'll be okay because now my ears are clogging up from the allergies not cute <laughs> anyways I digress let's go through the other two pouches that I have so this next pouch is going to be 135840, 135840. This is our Chanel Gold Crinkled Calfskin Leather Cambon CC Cosmetic Case. Again, just coming as is, but as I've mentioned, first person to buy a Chanel piece that doesn't have a dust bag, I have one spare one to gift to you. It says it's gold, but to me this is more of a bronze toned piece. Let me know how it reads to you guys. But I would call her bronze or maybe like a pewter, but it's paired with silver hardware, full calfskin leather, off-center CC again on this one. I would absolutely use this as like my makeup bag inside of another bag. Give you a full 360 look. Exterior is in excellent condition, nothing to note, no corner rub, no issues. That is the beauty of calfskin leather. It can take a beating and it still stays looking incredible no matter its age. So that is her from the exterior. Let me show you the inside. Has my favorite style of lining to the interior. So you get the Chanel logo written all over in this like silky white lining. There's your inner Chanel logo. No stains or issues. This is a really fantastic little small leather good. Here's inside this first pocket. And the second pocket, which does have the serial code. And this is a 11 series. 11 series on this one. Fantastic price point, you guys, if you need a pouch. I say go for this one. I have one more too, but personally out of the three, I would probably go for this guy. So he is up. I don't know why he's a he, but he's giving he <laughs> is up for 585 pounds. And that is 750 US dollars. Okay. So one more to go. This is the smallest pouch out of the bunch. Honestly, I'm torn to even show this. I might not show this. It has some discoloration to the exterior. I pulled it still thinking that whoever gets this could probably take this to get it dyed or painted. If you wanted to go through with that process, make it black, then that would hide the markings. I don't know. I'll still show it regardless, but it does have some color markings to the exterior. But it is 137724, 137724. This is our Chanel Red Quilted Lambskin Small Curvy Pouch Cosmetics Case, coming just as is as well. But yeah, I pulled her as like a little rehab project. She needs a little bit of a glow up. Or if you're not bothered by it and you just need a case to throw around and not worry about, then this would be a great option for you. But as it is right now, it's a cherry red lambskin color with gold hardware. But as you can see, there is some color transfer to the leather, hence my hesitation, but we'll still get her up just in case. But that is a 360 look. It's honestly more noticeable to the front of the pouch, the back of the pouch. I don't really see the color transfer. Same with the bottom and the edges. So just to the front, unfortunately, there is a little bit of rub here. 
and some color transfer. So do keep that in mind, you guys. But I'll still show you the inside. I love this interior. It is like a puffy, same color, but you're getting puffy diamond stitching, kind of like nylon lining in this. So there is your inner Chanel logo with a little scrunchy pocket to the side over here, if you will. And it does have a visible serial code. This is a series 28. So inside is good to go. Really, it's just the color transfer to the front, which from afar, you do not notice it. Again, I'm always hypercritical, but upon further inspection, you will notice mainly right here. Okay. So this one is up and available for 595 pounds, which is 762 US dollars. Again, my recommendation, me personally, I would just take it to get it dyed or painted to be black or another darker color. But those are my three little pouches for you guys. Let me know if there are any questions on them. And then we just have a couple more pieces to go. Let's see, we have one. Oh my God, we only have two. <laughs> We only have two more pieces to go. We will have adequate time for recaps. I might bring a couple more ready to wear pieces unless you guys have recap requests, but we are gonna end 10 minutes early just so Miss Isabel can be where she needs to be. And also so I can take control of my allergies. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Okay, but let's do these last two pieces. Let me do this one first. I have a really gorgeous boy bag in a colorway I have not yet had before. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any jewelry today, Beta, unfortunately. I'll have jewelry for my jewelry show on Saturday. Um, yeah. But yeah, I need like, what's that allergy? Benadryl? I feel like I need to bring some Benadryl to the office for when this happens. Because if you guys were, if you were me right now, both of my ears are completely clogged. Like, I can hear myself talking inside of my head, and it's freaking me out. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so this next bag is 137703. 137703. This is our beige chevron quilted lambskin new medium boy bag. This is so pretty. It comes with its box, dust bag, and authenticity card. But it's paired with silver hardware. I don't know if I can recall ever having this light of a neutral with silver hardware in, in a boy bag before, much less chevron and lambskin. So without further ado, look how pretty this is. This would be a great everyday Chanel bag for someone who is not a fan of the darker colors or like the black and gold, but you still want something classic. This would be a great option to go for. It's a super, it's almost like my skin tone, honestly. Super light beige lambskin paired with shiny silver hardware, not ruthenium. It's like a true shiny silver on this. And it is the new style or new size of the medium. So you get the Chanel hardware to the sides here. The lambskin leather looks amazing all over. There's the other side. And the top excellent exterior condition just gonna look over our corners the bottom okay one out of four corners just has a tiny little scuff mark right there but the other three are pristine wow okay so 2016 to 2017 i thought she was newer than that so that's impressive but here she is on the shoulder again the new version of the medium is just a little bit larger than the old one that's true cherry I might try that too. <laughs> so that's her on the shoulder. And then of course with the boy bag, you can also pull through. Let me angle it so you get the leather to the top so it's comfortable against your body. And then that's how she looks as a crossbody. I love this color. I've literally never had this in. Super pretty. Okay. So let's open her up. With the boy bag pinched to open on the CC. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this inner leather is giving pristine. Not a single mark, scuff, scratch, nothing detected in here. Hard card is included. And then you get a gray canvas interior. There's still zippers or still zippers to the seal. No. 
still seals on the zipper. There we go. One open concept pocket over here. This is a 22 series. And let's check inside the zip pocket just to confirm, but it's nice and clean inside. Yeah, excellent. All right, so overall, I would probably give this a nine out of 10 condition level. I'm very impressed with her. And I really love the pairing of the shiny silver with the beige. So this one is up and available for 3,185 pounds, and that is 4,079 US dollars. That is her. All right, up next is our grand finale bag, you guys, and then we will be hauling recaps. And again, I will not be in the office until next Monday. So this is my last show with bags. So anything you guys need to see, any questions you have, ask while I'm still here. But let's do our final bag. Okay. Last but not least, we have 137986. 137986. This is our blue. I haven't had this color in yet. It's my first time holding it. I'm so excited. The blue shiny quilted calfskin mini 22 hobo bag from Chanel, coming with its box, dust bag, and care booklet. And again, this is going to be a pristine and clean condition level piece. You know you know this is a more current season newer release from chanel i personally do prefer it in this mini size so you can wear it as a crossbody or as a top handle you get both of the strap options with this for the top handles there are two of them you can see the seals are still on the little coin charm that you get with this so it's called blue but it's a very light blue it almost looks gray Yes, that's a great way to describe it, is I would say it's totally similar to Blue Broom, but it almost looks gray, but it does have that sky blue undertone to it, which I think pairs beautifully with the gold hardware on this. And again, I love the exaggerated quilted stitching. So here is a 360 of the exterior, kept in pristine condition as if it just came from the store. But then you also have the option to wear her as a crossbody, which would look like this. So a super cool, casual, but elevated everyday little bag for you guys. I love the double straps that you get too, but you can also keep the straps tucked inside if you don't want the long straps to be used. Okay. So show you the interior this is a microchip piece there is still seals to the inner microchip here and then it has the diamond stitching to the interior you can see how the strap connects over here and then you get one inner pocket as well but this is in pristine 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 condition absolutely nothing to note and she is up and available for 5,815 pounds. And that is 7,446 US dollars. And that is all of the bags that I have pulled for the day. So let me know if there are any recap requests. In the meantime, while I look out for your questions, recap requests, whatever it is, I might just flash a couple other pieces of ready to wear. If any of them catch your guys' eyes, shout it out, let me know, and we can get them up for you. But I know it's tricky with sizing. I don't know who's in the house or what sizes are in the house, so I will just shout them out. And if you're interested, let me know and I'll get it up. So I have this yellow tank top with gold buttons down the back. Technically, you could wear this either way but it is designed to have the buttons on the back. So that is option number one. I don't know how this is still here. This is one of my favorite pieces that I do have for ready to wear. It is a yellow and blue striped polo long sleeve, slight crop to it. 
Chanel top, you get the CC on the button, and you have Mother of Pearl buttons that say Chanel Paris on them. This is 100% cotton, and it's a marked size 38. I think this would be so perfect for spring summer, so let me know if anyone wants this piece to be put up. I do have some more jackets. This piece is a great price, but there is a little bit of minor stains to the bottom of it, but it is a super lightweight short sleeve little Chanel v-neck and cream. So if anyone wants this to go up, shout it out, let me know. I don't know if this has a marked size on it. Let me check. Um, it's 100% silk, but no marked size. But I would say probably up to a US 10 for this shirt. I have the Chanel turtleneck in cream with the Makeup Day Chanel turtleneck detail right here. It is super soft and such a good color and really, really flattering on. If anyone wants this one up, this is 95% cashmere, 5% polyester, and a marked size 42 for the turtleneck. I have a size 40 gold tweed slight cropped zip up jacket. That's a size 40. have just a simple little white short sleeve shirt with this really cool texture pattern to it it is super duper stretchy super clean this is 73 percent cotton and it's a marked size 36 but i would say it could go up to a 40 just because of the stretch i have a super duper rare 1998 cruise collection cream lambskin scallop mini dress again that's a march size 36 on this one it is super duper rare zips down the back and has a little purple cc button detail to the top there as well i have a black slightly cropped like tank situation with the CC to the front. This is one of my favorite pieces. I don't know how no one has gone for this one yet. It's a marked size 36 and it's from 1998 spring summer. So we have her. She looks super cute on, very casual in a good way. And a bit more formal, also shocked that this is still here. I have a open back sheer baby cap sleeve shirt from Chanel. This is 2007 cruise collection mark size 38 the back is completely open with a button snap detail to the top with black and silver cc's and then these camellia three-dimensional motifs are actually removable so you can use them as brooches on other pieces you can move them around the shirt as a super flattering ruched in waist but of course this has good stretch to it so don't let that scare you so she's an option too have a marked size 46 full on this one's crazy black tweed long coat with quarter sleeves it has ruthenium cc buttons on it this is another great great option you guys in a great size too so she's an option i have a size 42 black tweed and kind of like nylon-y dress with really cool details just shout out if anyone wants to know the price on any of these and that is it so from now until 5 p.m even if me and Iza do hop off early i will be around so if i see any orders come through they will still ship out tomorrow and we will still make sure your customs and your duties are covered but I am going to give you guys a final call, last chance. Let me know if there's any final questions, any final recap requests, anything I can help with at all. I'm going to take the camera off and give you a view of the shelves one more time of what is available. A 
All our little pouches there. Can't believe no one is going for my medallion totes. Ugh, I love it so much. And this one, I'm shocked that this is still here. It's one of my favorites of the day. Maxi Chanel 19s. And the star of the show, I think everyone's favorite today, the Cruise Collection Hot Pink Champagne Gold Hardware Medium Double Flap. And the boy bag. So that was everything. It'll all still be available under the new arrivals tab on the website, you guys. Jewelry show. Yes, it'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. I'm going to cross my fingers that I will not have allergies or any remnants of my cold by then. Hopefully I'll be back to feeling 100%. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Sorry about the allergy situation. Isabel, thank you so much for being here and moderating. If you wouldn't mind just dropping my email and my Instagram if you can before we hop off. But thank you guys all for joining me. I'll see you for my jewelry show on Saturday and I will be here behind the scenes if you need me until then. Next time you guys will see me will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be moderating Trudy's show. So there is my email if you need it, guys. ldunham at luxurypromise.com and I'm going to go hunt like a mad woman through the office for some Benadryl now. <laughs> One of those days. Oh my goodness. But thank you guys so much. I will be seeing you around. Thank you again, Isabel. And have a lovely rest of your Thursday. Thank you. And my Instagram is Laura Lee Lux. If you guys want to be Instagram friends, stay up to date with me outside of work and see kind of behind the scenes work related stuff. Follow me there. But yeah, that's going to do it for New York City today, you guys. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you for another 